Hello everyone. So we are starting new series called Dental Digest with the study boards. And today we are starting with oral pathology, bacterial infections. Our first topic is scarlet fever in dentistry. First is the cause and the incubation period. Typically you are asked this question. Now whenever they ask you a question on the cause, it is caused by group A streptococci bacteria, specifically streptococcus pyogenes. You will get a question on this one. Next question is on the incubation period. Now the incubation period, it ranges from 1 to 7 days. You will get a straightforward question on this one. Then next thing that you need to know regarding scarlet fever is the symptoms that the patient presents with. So the patient is going to present with sore throat, fever, red rash with a sandpaper feel. Now this is very important. This rash often begins on the chest and then it spreads to other parts of the body. And that is how the examiner is going to ask you a question. From where does it start and how does it spread? Next point is that it has bright red streaks in the creases. That is called pasteas lines. Very important. These streaks are typically found in the underarm, elbow and groin areas. Then this patient will also present to you with swollen lymph nodes in the neck. And then there is a classical sign that is called strawberry tongue. You will see a white strawberry tongue in the first two days and especially occurring on the dorsal surface of the tongue. And this white coating is because of the visible fungiform papillae. Very important. Fungiform papillae. And during the progression, by fourth and fifth day, the white coating, it peels off and it reveals a red swollen tongue with prominent papillae. So they will ask you a question on the presentation of the tongue in the first two days and then on the fourth and the fifth day. Next part is the diagnosis and the treatment of scarlet fever. So we do this test called rapid antigen detection test. Now in this test, we detect antigens that are specific to group A beta hemolytic streptococci. And this is what confirms the diagnosis. And this is a throat culture that we do which ultimately helps us in confirming the diagnosis. Then we talk about the treatment. The treatment is done through oral penicillin. So this antibiotic, it effectively eradicates the bacteria and prevents any complications from scarlet fever that can happen. The key points to remember are firstly strawberry tongue, then pasteas lines and sandpaper like rash. So that's pretty much for scarlet fever. We'll cover the next topic in bacterial infections in the next video. Until then, take care.